This coming Sunday will mark 62 years since 14 year old Paulding resident Nancy Eagleson was abducted and killed while walking home from the movies with her younger sister. The police are still hunting for her killer, but after all of these years, there may finally be a break in the case. The last two months, lead investigator Brian Duggar has been looking into this case. He joins us now live in studio to discuss this latest development. Brian? Yeah, in December, we told you that Nancy's family had gone to court asking to have her body exhumed to look for new evidence, and that request was granted. And last month, we were there when the casket and vault were removed from the ground. Her body was then taken to Lucas County to be examined by Deputy Coroner Thomas Bloomquist. Now, in 1960, Nancy's autopsy indicated she was raped and shot once from under her chin. But during the recent examination, a second 22 caliber bullet was found under her head inside her casket. In addition, fiber evidence was found near her hip area. We can now tell you that the young girl was shot twice, not once as originally believed. Now, her sister Cheryl was walking with Nancy when she was abducted near their home. She was just five years old at the time. And she didn't want to give me an official statement, but she did say that she's hopeful this evidence produces new leads in the case. And that evidence is now being examined by the state's BCI lab. Brian, a question for you here. Why, why did the family go through this process of exhuming the body after all of these years? Yeah, well, they really believe this might be the last chance that they have. And the interesting thing is that all of the evidence in this case mysteriously disappeared in 1985. And the sheriff actually told me that if they still had that evidence, that this case would likely be solved by now through DNA. You know, it's still a long shot, but now there's actually new evidence that can be tested. So we're going to continue to follow the story. Reporting in studio, this is Brian Duggar for WTUL 11.